someday we'll get paid for this. And now, Piggy of the Week. This week's Piggy of the Week is brought to you by the Courtesy Flush. The Courtesy Flush, saving marriages, employment, and friendships since the dawn of modern plumbing. Oh, wow. I was just thinking about the times when I was a grade schooler in the late 70s, early 80s. Uh, I was an altar boy for my local Catholic church, the esteemed Our Lady of Perpetual Misery and Righteous Indignation near Frankfurt and Harbison. Those were the great days. <laughs> I mean, what kid of 10 or 11 doesn't want to wear a long flowing robe, polish candles, and help kindly Father Stan place unflavored discs into people's wet and open mouths? <sighs> oh, I felt extremely lucky and proud to be an altar boy. I polished those candles with great vigor. It wasn't all fun and games, though. I never felt I was appreciated for all my hard work as the other altar boys were. Father Stan would single out two boys in particular, Billy and Don. Father Stan would take Billy and Don camping to amusement parks, ball games. And boy, was I jealous. I was so jealous that I quit the altar boys, renounced my faith, and never looked back. It turns out to be the best move I ever made in my life. Congratulations to all the Father Stans of the Catholic Church. You are this week's Pedophile Piggies of the Week. I know it's pedophile, but it's funnier when you say pedophile. I'm A.P. Ticker, and I am the Kicker of Elves. <laughs>